happy April Fool's Day if you participate in some pranks. Hopefully you got those in and you were the pranker not getting pranked today. Um, today I just wanted to go over <clears throat> our lesson overview for the week, the 2nd to the 9th of April. Now, I tried to make less work. It was hard to judge last week, so it might have felt overwhelming with everything as well. So um, hopefully we got that out of our way and uh, it will be smoother sailing from here on in. Uh, if you're watching this, then that means that you can see the Google class and you can see the videos. So that's good. So if you know a friend who um, is not on yet, Hopefully I will get in contact them with them in the next couple of days, or maybe you can give them a call on your phone and walk them through if you know how to do it. So the overview lessons are in the top of your materials on Google Classroom. So it's really helpful. It lays out step one, step two, step three, what you need to be doing for the week, trying to make it less um, cumbersome as compared to last. So look there if you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so and I also put it here. So for language arts, this week you are finishing one story. So you did a bunch of different picture prompts last week. This week you just get to choose one and you're going to pass that in on the Thursday because we have no school on the 10th, the Friday. Okay, so you're gonna choose one final story, choose your best, make changes, use cups, so capitals, understanding, punctuation, spelling. You got the great uh, red underlined words when you're typing on Google Docs. So if you right click, you can find out how to spell the word or you can use the online dictionary now if you're writing it on. Or you can use your par parents or your siblings. So I put under there character development. Now, when you're developing your characters, you're really describing your character. I'm gonna try and put up a quick story of a character developing throughout. That's just meaning they're making changes. So when we read, um, what was that story? Of course, now I'm blanking. This When we read uh, Rotten School, he went through some changes throughout the book. He was trying to be a good student and not break any rules. And he went through different emotions to get there. So different events and different solutions happen to your character. And that is developing your character. So they go through different changes. So the events help them do that. Okay. So that's just what that means. So think about rotten school and how he changed for the better. And then he kind of went back to be a little rotten. And then at the end, we have some to be continued books, okay? So for math this week, it's two lessons. You have some workbook pages on for lesson one out of the textbook, I believe from memory. And then there is your math review pages. And then at the end of the week, so you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to do those four pages. And then at the end of the week, we will have a quiz. I think the quiz is nine questions or 10 questions. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's on a Google form. So I'll send a separate video to go with that. But I really want you to do your quiz on your own, but to have someone there to make sure that you are submitting it correctly because you only can do it once. And then I don't want you to like get them all wrong because you forgot to press click one or something. OK, so really, it's important to reread your quiz to make sure that all the multiple choice buttons are filled in. And if it's a short answer, if you write like, I don't know, a word down, like fun, you spell it right. Because if it's not spelled right, the Google form might not recognize it. So if I'm marking it, I would be able to phonetically sound out what you wrote, but Google forms cannot. So make sure if you're doing your short answer and you wanna write one or two words, down is you just spell them right okay so we'll go I'll go over a little video for that when we do our quiz okay so we'll have a quiz at the end of the week so on the ninth so some ongoing work which is always like your extra and then the following week we'll have less so I've wrote this all the way down to April 23rd so this is after spring break okay so this stuff is sitting on your Google Classroom already um 
or it will be the fur trader one will be out and the book report one will be out this week the pioneer peddler that's the one where you <clears throat> are building a device i added a couple little extra videos on there if you want to check it out um but that one's already been sitting there you have spring break to build it i won't be getting new assignments out so these things are kind of ongoing you can start them you can slowly work on them and then the april 20th week this will be our focus to work on finishing them okay with a couple of math a new math um chapter so Please, if you have questions, if it's too much workload and you're feeling like, whoa, Miss Smith, I can't get this done in my um, hour allotment a day, then let me know. I had some parent email saying it was a lot. So that's great feedback. So this week I made sure to put everything due on the Thursday, not like daily. So it all comes out on the second, but then you have a whole week to do it. Don't feel panic that it's due on like Monday. I got to hand it in. Okay. And that will be easier for me too, because then it looks like you're getting like submitting things late when really it's just showing your progress. Okay, so please let me know if it's too much, too little, and if you can access everything. Hopefully I will figure out all those things so that it's a little more smoother for all of us. Have a good day.